Good morning and welcome to the What's Up News Network, being broadcast from Panama City Beach, Florida, the home of the world's most beautiful beaches. I am Jim Free with Jim Free Realty. Please help me out this morning and look right below the uh, picture and you'll see a red subscribe button. Please click on that for me. Thank you. This whole thing, while well, trying not to be make too much light of it, kind of reminds me when I was 16. Gas prices were low, but I'm still grounded. The National Hurricane Center is watching two systems in the Atlantic. Both are tropical disturbances and at this time pose little chance of development. The National Hurricane Center is will continue to monitor these things. They're producing showers and thunderstorms. Some light development of this system during the next few days is possible, but not likely. The uh, movement is now at 20 miles per hour northwest. Something new that I was not familiar with, the Saharan dust is pushing into the Caribbean Sea and into the Gulf of Mexico to help, uh, is helping to prevent development of these storms. Uh, it's been kind of hazy for the last several days, which is attributed to the Saharan dust. Uh, and uh, that is expected to go away in the next few days. I was recently shopping at the local Winn-Dixie store uh, last Wednesday when I heard a loud commotion coming from the front of the store and I saw the assistant manager chasing a shoplifter back toward the meat market and then back toward the checkout counters. The manager did a flying tackle on the man and uh, then as he is picking himself up he noticed that a lot of the customers were watching him. The manager said don't worry folks this guy was just trying to go through the express lane with more than 10 items. Immediately I, along with three other customers, got out of the express lane. I like to put some facts in every time I have a video and this one particular one caught my eye. What do the city of San Francisco and Disney World in Orlando have in common? Well, the answer is they are roughly the same size, approximately 40 square miles, and both are fantasy lands. I was discussing with a friend the trend to change the name of airports, states, public buildings, and even change our national anthem because we have suddenly discovered those people we tried to honor were imperfect. I told my friend I thought it would be confusing if all the airports and public buildings were named Jesus since he's the only perfect person to walk this earth. It would be like trying to drive in Atlanta where every other street is named Peachtree. My friend said, wait a minute, you have forgotten Fred Fielding. I said, are you saying that Fred Fielding was a perfect man? My friend said, everything Fred did was perfect. I asked, who is Fred Fielding? I don't think I've ever met him. My friend said he was my wife's first husband. Well, I see that we've had another murder in Chad or Chop. A 16-year-old was, boy was killed yesterday by the militia. Another one was seriously injured. We need to understand that this is not about race. Man's value is not determined by the color of his skin. Your value is determined by whether you are godly or ungodly. What we have been seeing across this great country is a state of dis disorder due to the absence of non-recognition of authority, which is the definition of anarchy. We will celebrate a very important day this week. A lot of men and women have laid down their lives that that we might enjoy the independence and freedom that we have today. And I believe they would be very disappointed that we just laid down and let a group of anarchist thugs take it away from us. It's time for us to stand up and be proud Americans. Thank you for sharing some of your valuable time with me.
today, and may God continue to bless you in this great nation. Thank you so much.